Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. You're watching B-Side TV. I'm your host, William Reed, and joining me today uh, in our studios is Los Angeles-based singer-songwriter Mara Connor. Mara, thanks so much for joining us. How are you? Hi, William. I'm great. Thanks for having me. Uh, so you are playing Someone New? Yes. And then a B-Side? Yes, I am. Awesome. Whenever you're ready. Cool. I see the lines in between your eyes It's been a while since you left that night You ask me how I've been, I'm doing fine And I like what you've done with your hair It's hard to lie when you know the truth a vision standing right in front of you The winter's passed somehow You still look blue Like your eyes still have something to say Never would you so quick to fall apart You and your fears, me and my Broken heart If I could take us right back to the start I would I would All oh, these days Of you just won't quit Suck out the poison, boy, you've still been bad Pull out the arrow, but you've still been hit And this hole that you left just won't fill Fly away, fly to someone new Someone who smiles at everything you do Say goodbye to these eyes that cut through you To these eyes you yearn to forget Never were two so quick to fall apart You and your fears, me and my broken heart If I could take us right back to the start I would I would I would I would Thank you This is my B-side, Joe Joe We don't have to talk you look tired and it's long after dark Just rest your head At the other end of the bed Don't tell me I'm too young to know Don't tell me I'm too young to go If you see a child in my eyes It's only your reflection Ooh, ooh Now is the time Oh, you go your way and me, I'll go mine It's 
It's only your reflection It should come as no surprise You with no direction ooh, ooh. Goodbye for goodness sake My favorite mistake oh. Pretty one, have you since found your place in the sun? Holding her hand, have you journeyed to her promised land? And don't tell her she's too young to know. Don't tell her she's too young to go And if you see a child in her eyes It's only your reflection ooh, ooh. It should come as no surprise You with no direction Hi, Mara. Hi, William. Those are beautiful. Thank you. Um, so that B-side, Joe, yes. was that based on a true story? It is, actually. It's based on a true story of spending some time with an older man named Joe. Okay, he sounds like a, a pretty cool guy that <laughs> left an impression. The best. Awesome. Um, and you're single, someone new. Yeah. Um, that was originally written as a duet, correct? Yeah, um, it's a duet that I wrote, and um, it's sung with my friend Langhorn Slim. Oh, the Langhorn Slim. Yes. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> None other than <laughs> the wonderful Langhorn Slim. Um, how did that relationship come about? Um, I originally met Langhorn in New York briefly when I was okay. living there at a show, and then um, I was driving around LA, and I heard him on the radio for the first time, and I just fell in love with his voice. And coincidentally, we'd both recorded with the same producer, Andrea Tokic, at the Bomb Shelter in Nashville. So um, my producer reached out to him, and he was like, I love the song, let's do it. And then, um, yeah, we just spent a few hours in the studio and recorded it all live to tape with um, a wonderful group of players. And yeah. Only in Los Angeles. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that was recorded in Nashville. It was, correct. Yeah. Um, and you've been recording there quite often as of late, I believe. Yeah, I recorded most of my record there, my um, forthcoming debut record uh, at the studio, The Bomb Shelter, and it's a really special place. How has Nashville influenced your songwriting? Um, I think in a lot of ways. Um, I mean, I grew up listening to a lot of different styles of music, one of them being country, like... Willie Nelson, Chris Christopherson, Patsy Cline, and all of that, those great artists. Um, yeah, but also I think spending time at this particular studio and um, with these particular people really influenced my sound on this record. And um, my producer, Andrea, has a lot of really cool kind of unorthodox recording methods. And uh, like, for example, on Someone New, he used this uh, pair of headphones and rewired them to become a microphone. And we strapped it to the guitar to get this unique guitar tone, kind of like a darker guitar sound. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. um, so what was it like walking into an iconic studio with a renowned producer and one of your favorite artists to do a collaboration? I mean, that must have blown your mind. It was amazing. Yeah, it was the second day of my recording my first record so it was pretty pretty mind-blowing and a little terrifying but everyone was so cool and yeah it just it felt really effortless once we started you know 
it just kind of all fell into place. And Are there any artists that have influenced you along the way? And if so, what's your favorite B-side? Yeah, uh, one of my favorite songwriters of all time is John Prine. I think you can't really get better than John Prine's songwriting. Awesome. And um, my favorite B-side of his would probably be Sam Stone. Okay. Great. Well, thanks so much for being here today in the studio. Thanks for having um, me. Congrats on the new single. Thank and, you. I appreciate um, it. You know, best of luck with everything in the future. And in the meantime, you can find uh, Mara Connor at Instagram, um, at Mara Connor, yeah. and on across all other social media channels. So check her out, get the new single, and remember the B-Side. You heard it first right here on B-Side TV. Los Angeles, I'm your host, William Reed, signing off.